Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Train Sim World 3. Uh, we're running this uh, Preston 2 London Euston service uh, from Act Bridge to Crewe uh, in the LMS Jubilee class. Uh, this is um, kind of my my second first go at Spirit of Steam on um, Train Sim World 3. It's quite practical. Um, I did have a go at it the other day and I recorded it, which was fine, um, but the uh, audio was um, uh, a bit rubbish, which was kind of my fault really, because I didn't plug my headset in. Yeah, oops. It's not the first time I've done that, and let's be honest, it's not going to be the last. Um, but I've double checked and triple checked, and we're all good. Uh, well, I don't, uh, I might have not got any lights on. Is that what we want? Is that even on? Is it? I don't want red. No. Okay. I'm assuming that that's alright. Uh, we've got... Blimey, I've gone for three minutes yet. Uh, well, I've got, just got three minutes. Let's have a run around. Hey, John, how are we doing? You're the unlucky soul that gets lumbered with uh, me. Well, as it happens, uh, this is a short route, so... Uh, but I'm only taking this a short way, so you've only got to put up with my driving tool crew, so not, not too bad. Let's get that open for you, and just to help you shovel in. Uh, I'm going to keep you busy, I'll tell you that much. Just, you know, fine. Um, oh, good, uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, yeah, you don't know how getting on. Yeah, she saw me in the cab right. Nah, I'm alright. Now, who have we got today? Uh, we've got Hardy. Well, uh, good morning, Hardy. On my other one, I had uh, Saint Helena. So I nice to get something different. Don't think I've uh, I've had Hardy before. Uh, and my uh, plan of doing this is I need some practice with the steam train because uh, no, no. that's not been very well. I thought, how was it? Oh well, it wasn't me. I didn't park the train there. I I need to get some, some practice on this uh, because I'm really looking forward to doing the router on Southeastern High Speed and my guess is that there's going to be, uh, oh, why can't I go in there, my guess is there's going to be maybe some, some stopping and some slowing down involved uh, which I'm, I'm not all that good at I'll be honest and as I need to have some practice I thought you know what, if I'm going to practice anyway I might as well record it and for your viewing pleasure so uh, you're welcome uh, oh, see what's wrong with that poster strong, st strong tea no st strong coffee that, that, that's what it should be hang on uh, no I don't want to give it up there we go I think I've uh, looks at this I've um, pretty much done uh, all the root tasks here I'll start running back to the cab shortly. I'll be good. I'll, I'll go back over the bridge. I'll be able to help. I'll be able. Um, oh, I can't get up here. Oh, of course I can't. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Acton Bridge. Yeah. So I'll just start making my way back to the, the front of the train. We'll do it the, the proper, safe way. I'll be good. I'll be good. Uh, now I'm, I'm not too worried about running to time. All I want to focus on really is trying to drive this thing. Uh, I can do it from you know Liverpool and to Crewe, just one express run. That's that's all right. That is. Um, but yeah, actually stopping at the different stations. That's uh, that's a different matter. So not concerned about time. It's just let's let let's get there. Let's get there. So our first up is Hunkford in 2.6 miles. Pop a bit of oh, regulator on. Uh, I forget to... Oh, hang on. That was already open. Let's open that again, just in case. But go. I think that's enough. There we go. Grab that bad boy out. Gun's all uh, already on it. And with the shoveling. Marvellous. Right then. 
we are off. Okay. Now, right on my uh, proper first first ash run, I did get some nice screenshots. So I'm kind of hoping for the, the the same again today. But we'll we'll see what happens. Run away. I did a different run as well from Liverpool to Runcorn. That's what we did. Uh, and I had to climb out up the hill out of Liverpool. Which was kind of alright. And in fact, I didn't need to put that up to um, the full um, 75 because uh, I've got. Um, well, I've only got. What's that? One, two, three, five coaches so we're not particularly heavy um, I do have some passengers on though I didn't have last time I've got quite a few oh that's just we're, we're making up for the last run I think that's probably what we're doing so yeah you, there's, there's not a lot of weight to it so you don't need the reverser in full forward and you probably do getting up that hill or close to it full but once you're up it yeah, right, Liverpool, you, you're good. And also, this is going to help with the. Oh, God, my water pressure is, uh, is a bit low there. Let's just ease it off a bit. Got the nervous needle at the bottom there. I'm not surprised it's nervous. I am in control after all. Uh, we're kind of doing all. Kind of doing all right. Let's, uh, let's do. Yeah, John. John, mate, don't, don't, don't worry about where we're going. I'll, I'll take care of that. You just get shuffling, yeah? Look up, you look after the body pressure. I'm going to have to knock it down a little bit just to try and get the body pressure back up. Didn't want it uh, dropped so much. And, uh, I'm due. I've got less than a minute to do one and a half miles and I'm barely doing 35 mile an hour, yeah? I mean, this is... This is going to be late to my first stop. But it did, it did say to. I mean, that's a bit optimistic, giving me three minutes. Well, alright, four minutes to do two and a half miles in this. That seems a bit. Yeah. I mean, it says I can do 90 along here, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a. I mean, this is. This is something that's new to me. I'm doing a third of the speed limit. Like normally I'm powered down and I'm gone. I'm like, come on train, faster, faster, faster. Yeah, you can't do it in this. Which kind of adds to the, the challenge is a fair, well, I'm just saying the obvious here, it's a very different experience um, to um, driving anything else. Very different. So we're going to be about a minute and a half late, I reckon. One of the good things is because we're stopping, that'll give a chance for John to sort the body pressure out. So that's one advantage. Let's it's climbing now. What we'll do is we'll come off the, the regulator. Probably should have done it a bit more gently, but ah, well, this is me we're talking about. When do I ever do things gently? Or even this gently? Just make sure half of them are aware that I am approaching. Down a break. And what catches me out is the brakes take their time of flying. But once they apply, they do their job. They are not too bad, actually. It's just again the flying first of all. Uh, and it says it drops like two mile an hour. That's a bit more break. There we go, that's hope I can do something now. Uh, and as we said that, we're, um, whoops. I've misjudged that badly. 
very badly and start walking <laughs> it's going to mean everyone get on at the, uh, the back of the train so I mean that's about what half the train in isn't it yeah pretty much well 50-50 could have been could have been worse that's it <laughs> on we get you'll have to uh, yeah you can't walk down yeah you'll just have to walk down if you want to be near the front of the train uh, sorry what have we got is that a uh... no don't sit down there right. jump yourself down there come on man oh, I've got a little bit of time run 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 Get my steps in. So he's going to the gym. I don't want to be running on a treadmill. This is much more fun, surely. Right, we get that. There we go. Do feel bad if I only managed to do 8 out of 25. Uh, the sand bucket. Right, it's probably time to get back in. Get have, uh, can we get in? Oh, sorry, am I in the way? Yeah, well, we could go up there. I haven't got time, though. Oh, what's in here? Uh, oh. Oh, okay, just, uh... Oh, so found some beer. Marvellous. Uh, can I have it? No. Okay. Fine. I suppose it's, uh... Found a bunch of beer while you're in charge of a steam train. That's need to leave a case of beer in there, though. Just... And it is. Oh, yeah, kind of all. Just as well that I'm not bothered about running through time because we are... Um, you kind of like leaving. The bolts to release. Uh, so I've got two and a half minutes to do 4.2 miles. But, I mean, if you even need something, uh, an electric star or something, that, that, that's not going to happen. Right, we are off. So we'll get that open. Give it a couple of puffs. And a few more for good measure. There we go. Obviously I don't really know uh, all the ins and outs of operating a steam train, uh, in case you haven't gathered by now. Uh, all I kind of know is then um, have your injectors open. Uh, that controls how fast it goes. That has something to do with like, the... I think it's more to do with torque. Uh, so if you, you know, think about it, that's like the the revs in a car, and you can give it as, uh, and that's your sort of how much you're pushing on the uh, accelerator. If you like, that's probably the one of the worst analogies I've ever heard of, of you know <laughs> operating a steam train. But yeah, it's all good fun anyway. That's it, John. Keep, keep it going. Would I try and get above 35 miles an hour this time? I'm just going to knock that down a bit. And bring this down a fraction. I, I, I don't know if it's going to make any difference. Uh, that sounds actually like your revs. That's probably not revs talk, I guess. Almost like what, 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 what gear you're in. Um, I, don't know, I don't know. Someone's probably going to tell me that I've got it completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> and that I don't know what I'm talking about. And yeah, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's somewhat a miracle that I can actually make this thing move, to be honest. I've got three, just going to three enough miles to uh, Winsford. Yeah, that's a nice bit of scenery. Got a lot of scenery on this route. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, bottom push is coming back up a fraction, kind of. I think it's coming up more than it's coming down, so that's good. And we're at 39 miles an hour, so we're, we're doing better. Doing better. So, yeah, I'll take that. Look at that thing. Yeah, there 
go. Sorry, my camera skills are, I mean, they've, they've not really improved much since I first started playing Train the Sim World, so, yeah. And uh, I've been playing, well, I started off with Train the Sim World 2, uh, and that was uh, well, coming up to two years ago, end of 2020, I think I bought it. Remember rightly. Right, let's see if we can get get a bit more speed. I'm going a fraction of an incline. Now the, the only problem with this group is the fact that I quite like having the camera angle outside like this and just admiring the train and the, the the B town I'm watching the steam coming out and I just get too so distracted with it. And I don't really pay attention to what's going on, like signals or speed limits or you know, where I am uh, in relation to any of the stations. But uh what one is that? That's uh bird bird birdins sidings. Okay. Love that clickety clack. Oh, that's not brilliant. That's when we're here when a train goes past. Yeah, I absolutely love this room. Oh, water the pressure's doing alright. Well, well, well done, John. Top man. You're, uh, Doing all right there. Body pressure is doing quite well. But we're coming up somewhere where I'm. Um, do I want to use my whistle? Oh, what's this one? Uh, Winsford Junction One. Possibly. There you go. Uh, apparently, Winsford has more than one junction. There you go. Not being inside the cap, don't get me wrong, but yeah. Oh, we're, we're gonna hit 50 mile an hour in a minute. There we go. Celebrate the three whistle and get into 50 miles an hour. Uh, now, this is where I'm gonna come off the power. Dab of brake on just to get the brakes going. He says. Maybe, maybe, maybe a bit more. And there, there we go, we're slowing. Maybe not quite quickly enough. Oh, it's almost like you can hear the brakes going. Good morning, Winsford. Good for the ease of the attraction. Actually, this is going a lot better than mine, yeah, not in the first stop. Oops. There we go. Bit more great. Not too bad, is it? Minor overshoot, but I can look at that. There we go. Okay, I don't need too much brake on. Where are we again? Hot? Is it Hartford? Where at? Yeah, Hartford. Where's the? Uh... No, Winsford. We did Hartford, Winsford. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh, what have we got here? It's the cows that go moo. <laughs> uh, honestly, since my first um, go on this, when Spirit Steam first released, uh, I was playing around and 
I heard um, the, the cows going, and yeah, same to you. I wasn't prepared for it. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, so, did I just hear cows go moo? Yes, I did. Um, obviously, I know the cows go moo, but I wasn't ex expecting it on this. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of brilliant, really. Uh, I mean, it's great that um, cows you got the sort of sound the cows actually make a noise. I don't know what it's the same. Um, passengers must not cross the line except by means of the footbridge. Okay. Right, uh, I'll just do this. Okay. Marvellous. That'll probably do. It's departing. Off we go. And um, see how it's. <laughs> And ever, ever since that first go, where I discovered that they put um, sounds into the cows, the cows have been just pondering me on another route and other games as well. Oh, there's some cows. Oh, and some more. So it's not just claims them, it's other games as well I found them as well. There we go, more cows. Right, come on, let's, uh, let's get going. Got. Oh, we've got a nice 7.4 mile run down to crew now. Right, come on. Right, there you go, John. Just over 7 miles to go. You can cope with that, can't you? a little bit just to get our initial speed up. Let's guess we're going uphill a bit. Yeah more than I said we're <laughs> ruin the boiler pressure. That needle is uh, dropping pretty quickly actually. And the needle at the bottom just got quite nervous. It's always nervous when I drive this. Can't imagine why. Look at me being all, uh, all professional, just casually leaning out like I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Right, have I got any, uh, oh yeah, I've still got passengers left. Oh, oh. I mean, I've not all, uh, all done a runner. That's a little bit surprising. Alright, well, we'll see how this... Seven mile uh, leg goes. I'd be there to get shot now, I'd imagine, by the time I get to crew. There we go, we'll just wait for the water pressure to recover a bit before we put any more power on. I think it's more on the way up than it is on the way down, which is good. And we should uh, just be able to kick back and enjoy the scenery. Bit of a board course over here. I won't go down and un under, we'll get stuck in the track. I'll try and do that. This just looks fantastic. This is the sort of thing you want when you're out train spotting, isn't it? the 1950s. 58 this is set, if I remember rightly. And I think it just looks sun. absolutely fantastic. Love to have been able to have done this in real life back then. I think I've been quite happy just riding up, up and down all day. Get a bit more power on. Well, the pressure's not quite where I want it, but I might be getting a fraction impatient. And if I'm lucky, I might be able to get it to 90, maybe. And oh, blanket! 
I am running late, I was due at crew 30 seconds ago. Now this could be a, a problem. Because I did, I can't, I think it was a live stream that I did on this um, some time ago. And I was significantly late to crew. And I think the problem was that my train was meant to go into a, whatever platform it was. But I was that late that the next train that was coming the other way had arrived there. And obviously I should have been there before that one. And I got stuck with the red signal. I'm going to be gutted if it happens again today. Really am. I think it, you get a pre-designated platform. It's like mine. You're, you're due to the rep at 11.28. You should be gone by 11.30. So I can put a train there at 11.33. But if I don't drive until 11.35, and that other train may not necessarily be due to go straight away or I might be in its way so right, uh, yeah the border pressure is uh, I think slowly slowly creeping up which is good just have a look at, no not that one have a look at the map crew is, um, uh, I don't know where crew is. Okay, let's abandon that one. <laughs> Actually, I can work it out, can't I, because it should tell me. Uh, I think this must be crew. Where am I meant to go? It doesn't tell me. No. Is it on the corner? No, it doesn't actually show my parking. Okay, that's fine. No, you got that. Right, let's let's see what this can do. Let's open her up. Guns are shuffling away there. Got a little. Uh, I've got a little song for you, John. Just to to help keep keep you going. Yeah, ready? Every day I'm shuffling. Uh, yeah, no, 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 you don't like it, no, okay. I'm not too sure it was totally impressed with that. Every day I'm shuffling. Anyway, um, <laughs> back to the Japan. Okay. Well, I was expecting the water pressure to have dropped massively by this point, but we're doing all right. We are doing all right. 60 miles an hour. Come on. 2.9 miles to go. I suppose we've got a 20 mile an hour coming up shortly before. Get some there. Uh, nice screenshot. Uh, how about that one? Side look. Okay. Let's see if we've got any. We might be able to get a nice shot at the crew as well. Should it be okay? Now, I'm 
currently doing 70 miles an hour and I've got to get it down to 20 in um, about half a mile. So, yeah. It's going to need to break quite heavily here and we're getting quite bumpy. Whoops. Oh, blimey. That's some. Um, dear me. Whoops. I, I, I just want to let everyone know that we're coming in hot. Oh, we're, we're, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's some, um, yeah, whoops, we're over double the speed limit here, yeah. oops, yeah, hold on tight, this is me just warning everyone, yes I know I'm speeding, my bad, at least the brakes a bit just so that we don't and grind into a stop. Oh, phew. <laughs> but the bikes weren't too bad. But once I get a flying. Ah, oh, dear me. Right then, here we go. Welcome to crew, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the foot of bed sitting at the end of the platform. Why put a signal at the end of the platform? If I didn't even do with things, signals at the end of the platform should be banned. Just outright. Don't go through that red signal. Don't, don't, don't you dare. You can stop early. That's fine. I will take an early stop. Yeah, that will do. The right crew, anyway. be at least 50 yards from the uh, from the end of the platform at least I don't quite know what's going on going on there is it meant to do that? I don't know um, let's put all the things back on there we go well, we made it to crew, somehow. Not entirely sure how, albeit rather late. But we made it, all the same. We'll just wait for the load passengers to finish and we'll see how we did. Yeah, there's a few brave souls left. Well, quite a few actually. There's, uh, I thought everyone would have gotten off here. Especially after that approach and coming into. Um, oh, hang on. Knocked up the doors, haven't I? <laughs> right, let's see how we did. Uh, that's just. Wow, well, I still got a gold medal for that. I'm not convinced I deserve it, but I'll take it. Uh, so I was two minutes late to Hartford, <laughs> and five minutes late to Winsford, and seven minutes late to Crewe. And. Yeah. Cracking stop accuracy there. Yeah, is, is it fair to say that I maybe need some more practice? Yeah, I don't think there's much of a maybe about it. Um, <laughs> you can see, <laughs> look, you can see on the the speed limit right at the right at the end there. <laughs> it's going up and up and up, and then all of a sudden it just nose dives. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's an that's a practice run over and done with, and there will uh, there will definitely be more practice runs to come, uh, which we will uh, record and upload as well, and uh, just so you can have maybe a bit of a, a laugh at how much I don't know what I'm doing and how badly it goes. But hey, can't have been that bad. A, you got a gold medal, and B, we still made it to crew. We didn't derail or anything so yeah, I'll take that as a win anyway thanks very much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if it haven't already uh, and uh, until next time take care